On October 11th every year, the World Day of the Girl Child is observed globally to highlight the plight of girls who are often discriminated against in various aspects of life. Now, the country director of Care Care emphasized the importance of this day and pledged to ensure girls have the opportunity and will and will to achieve success. Various speakers called for support and an environment that supports girls' full potential. We are deeply committed to the empowerment of girls, not just as beneficiaries of our programs, but as active participants and leaders in shaping their future. Today is a powerful reminder that girls are not asking for permission to dream. The girls have right to dream. They are already envisioning and working towards a world where they can thrive, where they are safe, educated, and free to make decisions about their lives. This is why our new country strategy, titled Leading Locally, and connecting globally for impact, emphasized our unwavering commitment to empowering women and girls by fostering strong local leadership and leveraging global partnership. Dream of a world where every girl can reach her full potential, free from barriers that hold her back. In my vision for the future, every girl has access to quality education. No girl should ever have to drop out of school because of poverty, discrimination, or lack of resources. No girl should live in fear of violence, exploitation, or abuse. We deserve to walk our streets, our schools freely, and live in our homes without any fear. Every girl should have access to health care, including mental health support. We should be able to make informed choices about our bodies and our future. During the panel session, lawmakers and development partners discussed the issue of the girl child in Nigeria, promising to ensure the right legislation is put in place to protect vulnerable persons. The guest speaker discussed the VAPP law's history and challenges. We know that also the male children, you know, the young ones, they are also vulnerable. Not only the, the, the girls you know, are vulnerable to you know, violence or to be violated. We all have to have our hands on deck to ensure that the regulations, the legislature, and every ingredient that is needed to ensure the safety of the girl child is enhanced, is harnessed, and is put into work. The girl child can do a lot, you know, so we, we are trying to address you know, things that a girl child can do. They should not be limited in anything they intend to do or go after in life. One of the things we can do is um, basically not to repeal the act, the VAB Act, but we can look at ways we can amend, you know, and instill some stiffer um, punishments, you know, and also strategies on how to move this forward that will bring better results. One of the gaps in the existing VAP Act, which the bill is seeking to cure, is the provision for mandatory compensation for victims of violence. Um, that's not very elaborate in the current VAP Act, so the bill is proposing that, which is very good. And I think also another very important, and which I would say you know, is the, very, the most innovative provision in the bill, is the establishment of the um, Victims of Violence Support Fund. So there's really no uh, support fund for victims of violence in the current VAP Act. And I think that's very important because uh, finance, uh, fin financing, you know, these in in interventions, initiatives, um, and funding is very, very important in addressing sexual and gender-based violence. Without money, you really can't achieve much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.